So I'm Nina Estrella Luna. Um, I am a faculty member here in the uh, School of Urban Affairs, uh, Public Policy and Urban Affairs, uh, and I'm also an advisor to Neighbors United for a Better East Boston, it, which is an East Boston direct action organization. And uh, this poster is actually the collaborative effort of me and our youth organizer, who's Federico Sanchez, who's a, a high school senior in East Boston. So the, the project came out of the observation that Federico Sanchez had that his high school was providing him with uh, a lot of support to help him go to college and help prepare him for, for applying for college uh, and finding resources to pay for college, but that his friends who went to East Boston High School uh, did, were not getting. And all of his Latino friends who were going to the local public school, they, they were not being uh, told how to fill out or being given help with filling out applications or being told uh, what to say uh, or you know how to, how to do that how to get how to get through the process so um, he decided uh, he came to he was an active member of Nube he decided that he wanted to create an initiative of Students United for a Better Education which would be East Boston uh, high school and young people who are going to support each other to you know, get access to post-secondary education and training. So what he did, uh, as part of this effort figuring out what to do and how to do it, he um, went around and just started interviewing East Boston, East Boston Latino youth. And uh, and so you know, he and it was, it was uh, the technical term is a snowball method, right? So he'd interview his friends and then say, who else can I interview? And then his friends would you know get him contacted with other people. And then right now we have about a dozen stories, and these are three of them uh, of East Boston youth and their experiences. And, and these are just the ones that go to East Boston High, which is what we decided to focus on here. Uh, and. From their experiences, this is how we decided what was needed, or I should say he decided, uh, what was needed to be done. The general experience basically is that uh, East Boston youth who are going to East Boston High School, their guidance counselors are uh, essentially not providing them with the support to go to college. Uh, the, and these are not young people that never went to the guidance counselor to begin with. All of these are young people who went to the guidance counselor said, I want to go to community college, I want to go to college, I want to get some training after I finish high school. And the guidance counselors ignored them or didn't follow up with them. I mean, I think I mean, these two stories in particular are really sad because, you know, she was this, this young woman who uh, we have anonymized as Sarah Paxton, uh, was basically told, well, you're undocumented, so just enjoy your senior year, there's nothing we can do for you. This young man actually started to apply, and again, it was all through his own effort, and ex his father died in the middle of the process. Nobody at East Boston High followed up with him. Nobody, nobody called him and said, how come you didn't come back to us? What's going on? So he was allowed to fall through the cracks, and, so, and he's now working two jobs and supporting his family. So on the basis of these stories, one of the things that we've learned is there, there is a need to kind of motivate Latino students to make them, to, to raise their consciousness around uh, college access and post-secondary education generally, that, that those things are available and that you should seek it. Uh, and then the second thing that we, uh, that we found is what's needed is support for the youth themselves, you know, how to do, how to fill out the applications, how to prepare for interviews, how to write a resume, all of those things. And so uh, what they de decided to do is um, they're going to have sort of conscious raising activities and there's things that they're going to do around that, but they're also going to have peer-led workshops around very, uh, very specific skills, resume building, interviews, things like that. And then they're also going to have peer support groups based on their civil status, whether they're U.S. citizens, green card holders, or undocumented, and also based on specific interests that might also give them access to financial aid <clears throat> or specific training programs. So that's, that's what the initiative is currently. Yes, yeah, so uh, in terms of the, uh, what the youth are going to do, these are their next steps that they've decided this is what we're going to do. Nube also has a uh, work group that's focused on education, and so the youth and the adults that are part of that 
are also taking what we're learning here, and this is now becoming among the, on the, it gets on the list of the demands that we are going to be making to Boston Public Schools. So, and we work with parents, you know, helping them participate on PTAs, and we work with BPON, the Boston Parents Organizing Network. Uh, this is also on their list of demands, so that the youth are doing what they can to support themselves, and we are supporting that, those efforts. And then we are also taking this and pushing the schools. Our intention is to push the schools on some of these issues as well. Great.